हेलो दोस्तों दिस इज दीपक एंड आई एम हेयर विद उषा जी उषा जी इज विद द स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हेयर इन फ्रीमॉन्ट ब्रांच एंड आई आई वॉन्ट टॉक टू हर टूडे लिल अबाउट वट स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया ऑफर्स the our nri community here in this great state of california now uh, usha ji will be at the wealth summit so those of you guys who have a questions or want to come meet with usha ji there you can definitely do that her staff will be there as well uh, they will be there whole day long so you can definitely bring up your questions and directly ask usha ji but today i want to talk to her a little bit about why in today's uh, 21st century where things are moving super fast why do people still want to do business with state bank of india and and i asked that usha ji with all honesty because you know we we all grew up knowing state bank of india and and i i think the the bank you work at is quite different than the bank we all kind of grew up with right yeah very true so state bank of india our parent bank is a fortune 500 company actually and here we are set up as a 100% fully owned subsidiary of india sbi okay so which means it gives you the security and the safety that you are banking with one of the best banks okay so that's the main thing i would like to convey in this uh, video like you know how it is so safe to bank with us so basically what she's saying is that look we although we are linked with the india but in the in this in united states it's a completely a bank that falls under us regulations that means you are fdic insured all the regulations that are applied to you know other banks uh, the same they they are kind of um, fall under the same regulations that's what you're trying to say right yes we are 100% uh, owned sbi subsidiary and we are fdic insured we offer uh, consumer banking personal accounts business banking and we also offer online and at branch remittances to india which we call the money transfer to india that's one of the flagship product you can say for our bank so so let's think about it for a second so all of us are probably planning on traveling to india some point or the other and when you land in india you're going to need indian money although you can use your credit cards and and dollars and all that stuff but you probably have seen that india had revolutionized the way payment system works in india i was there just a couple of months ago and it's awesome it's beautiful you can do a lot of things with your mobile phone uh people don't have to worry about carrying cash anymore people don't have to worry about having a change anymore uh many times people will say just make an online payment so it's very very common so being able to transfer funds from us to india is extremely important now what i learned from usha ji right before uh, this video is that state bank of india is really awesome when it comes to uh, remittances when it comes to transferring funds from the from the us to india and one of the things she told me which I, i was actually surprised to know they have some of the best transfer rates you can get anywhere including all those online companies right which is you are absolutely true so what i would like to share today is our remittances to india offer you the most competitive exchange rates these can be done online they are fast secure reaching any bank in india within 24 hours and it's free for you you don't have to pay anything and also at the branch we are we have a higher limits for you to transfer to the online limit is like 50000 per day for you to transfer and you have even the facility of doing a mobile transfer you have download our app you can do up to $10000 on the mobile transfer itself for all of these you need to have an account with us which is what we are actually looking for so so usha ji um you know one of the things personally for example i hate is just having too many accounts too many usernames too many passwords too many places to go right and 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 i'm thinking like look the, uh, when it comes to remittances maybe i will do it once a year maybe once every two years mm -hmm. right so my first question to you is how easy it is to get an account with sbi how long would it take yes. you can do opening up accounts online also okay. and you can walk into a branch and do so the accounts with us have the additional feature of what we have an international atm card the checking okay. accounts come with a debit card or an atm card that's a global visa card you could use it in any country in any atm as a debit card and as a atm card it's free of charge there is no forex fees for up to 10 transactions every month so it's like a free versatile card you could carry during your okay. travel uh, but but and i'm i'm pretty sure the answer is no but just to verify this account that that you will set up here in the us cannot be used for upi payments in india correct absolutely we would like to clarify on that because this is a totally a us banking account and it cannot be used in india 
like a like an Indian bank account. Obviously, the two countries are different. The banking regulations are different. We are governed by the U.S. banking regulations, which means your accounts, your funds remain here, but you bank with one of the best banks among the world. Okay. Say. So what what Usha ji is suggesting is that look, first step is set up an account here in the U.S. Right. And the second step is if you already have an account in India, then an NRI, NRO account, or if you don't have one, get one. You can get it at the SBI in India or you can get it with any bank that you like. And what she's saying is that you will be better off doing your remittances through SBI here in California because it will give you a better rate. It will give you more limit and it's uh, bound by all the U.S. regulations. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, very true. And what I want to share again is we also do business remittances. We want to actually give out and uh, share with the community that we do business remittances. If you have your business operations in India, you could use our services. The exchange rates, as I was discussing, is one of the best and it will serve your business needs. The limits are high. That's one of the other best features you have for business remittances. You even have limits of a gold and a platinum account where you could send even two hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand dollars per day. We so you that. can send tons of money to India. Now let me talk to you a little bit about about bringing the money from India to US. Does the uh, the SBI branch here plays a role in that as well, or that's a business for the SBI branch in India? That's a very good question. So which I would like to again explain. As we said, India banking is different from ours, right? So any remittance that has to come from India, it has to be originated in India. Meaning you have to work with the India bank and you have to initiate an international wire transfer. It is subject to the regulations over there. But if you have an SBI account and you have an account with SBI California over here, it could work a little easier for you because we were come under the same banking group, right? So that could help you a little. And sometimes if you are doing a direct SWIFT wire transfer from India SBI to our own SBIC because we have a unique SWIFT code for each branch, it could save you middlemen, avoid the middlemen in the process. Like there may be a correspondent bank, you could avoid that. Um, then, then let me ask you this. So those of uh, people watching this video and maybe they don't already have an NRI NRO account, they haven't been to India lately. And uh, this time they go there, they will be in for surprise because India has revolutionized and uh, digital payments are everywhere. So the first thing that will come to their mind is, hey, maybe I should get an NRI NRO account at this point. Okay. By the way, those of you guys who don't know, uh, they kind of come in bundle at most banks. So it's not like you go set up. It is two accounts, but you go to a bank, they just give you two. Um, um, so my question to you now is, can you help these people? Is there is there person like, for example, people from Delhi or from Bangalore? Can, can you do you have an contact information for a particular bank that they can go walk in and talk to a person X Y Z to set up these accounts, or they kind of own their own when they're in India? I could explain this. So what happens is if you are here and you are not able to go in person, we offer appointments for attestation facility, which means you visit our website sbical.com pick one of the locations and set up an appointment for attestation. What that means is we'll verify your documents, you come into the branch office, carry your originals and copies and we attest on the copies, we give it to you, you have to still send it to India for opening these accounts. We don't have any particular branch in India where we could refer you to, but there is a global NRI center that has been set up in Ernakulam and if you want you could send there, that's a centralized processing unit for NRI accounts where it gets process faster. Okay. Um, so she talked to us about remittances. She talked to us about the business account remittances, which they are very highly competitive in. She talked about why it's better for you to have an account with SBI and then do your remittance because you will get better uh, transfer rates. Um, uh, and then she also talked about that she are, they are a U.S. bank and they are regulated by all the U.S. regulations. That means your money is FDIC insured. Other than that, what other services do you guys offer here at this branch? Okay, our uh, right now there's a promotion going on for a 5% CD, 5% APY on a CD for 7 months. And we also offer competitive rates depending on the, the relationship and all. So we offer IRA accounts, we have CDs, we have online banking as we said, checking, savings, money market accounts. We do commercial lending, so that's another area we focus on. We have the real. So let's let's talk about that. So we in uh, during Wealth Summit, there are quite a few people who are either already starting their business or they already have 
an established business. So what kind of commercial lending are we talking about? Like, is it mainly for like hotels, motels, or is it for any kind of business? Uh, what are, like, you know, who qualifies, who doesn't qualify? Okay, so we do commercial lending, term loans, line of credit, equipment financing, letter of credit. We do CRA, that's for hospitality, office spaces, multifamily, gas stations. And we are also now focusing on small business loans, any assist-based lending or, you know, um, setting up a small business and we do we are also focusing on what's called our CRA activity commercial reinvestment act like where we do a uh, community reinvestment act what we do is we have certain areas where if we fund it we are able to ass uh, assist those people who are setting up their business for the community sake and for them we have uh, those small business loans as well. Okay, so let's say if there is a gentleman watching this video and they are interested in buying a gas station, is that your customer? Would you help them buy the gas station? Yes, of course. So what we look for is all their financials and everything, and they are a good uh, candidate for uh, gas station lending. Yeah, we can do that for refinance. Okay, so and, and I, I ask that question because typically when we're thinking about these kind of transactions, SBI is not usually on top of our mind, right? Yes. Uh, and, and now we have this option. now. Tell our people, like, why should they consider SBI for that reason? Is it easier to get loan? Is it better rate? I mean, what, what makes SBI a competitive option? We can actually, uh, you know, um, give suggestions and um, how to go about a loan and our processing can be, we can guide our customers and give them personalized service how to go about the loan. So that is something where you can uh, have our services and get benefited. Okay. So there you go, guys. I think those are all the questions I have for Ushaji. Now, Ushaji will be at the Wealth Summit whole day long, right? Um, she's wonderful. She's very approachable. You're welcome to come, walk up to her, ask your questions, right? Uh, because I'm sure there are tons of things that I did not ask her. You're more than welcome to put those in the comments. And next time I'm sitting down together with her, I'll be happy to ask her those questions and bring uh, those answers back to you guys. But better option is come to the Wealth Summit, talk to Ushaji in person. She's so nice. She'll be able to answer all of your questions. She's right here in Fremont, right across from us. So those of you guys who haven't been to our Fremont office, it's on Paseo Padre and, um, you know, State Bank is right here. You can just uh, go across the street and talk to them and uh, get your account open up. So Ushaji, is there anything else you want to tell people? Anything I missed? Everything you have covered, Deepak Ji. Thank you so much. And yes, welcome everybody to the Wealth Summit. I'm looking forward to chatting with you and answer your questions. Thank you. So there you go, guys. I know those of you guys who joined me on our online WhatsApp group, uh, many times you guys ask me, hey, why SBI? You know, what, what can they offer? So I hope you guys got all of your answers. What does SBI offer? Um, and, and I think India is revolutionizing. A lot of uh, fintech is happening, and I, I'm pretty sure in the next two years we'll see a lot of changes with SBI as well. Uh, hopefully a little bit more integration between U.S. and India. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Thank you, Ushaji, for coming in and telling us about SBI, and we are looking forward to your presence there. Um, you, she was there last time. It was wonderful. So thank you so much for being there. And uh, th thank you for all of you guys. If you have not re registered, just head over to SanjeevCPA.com and register for the Wealth Summit. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. Thank you. Thank you.